Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we break down the latest in crypto news. Today we're going to be talking about Cardano, ADA, and the big question on everyone's mind. Could Cardano, ADA's price be about to double? According to the latest reports, a bullish breakout has just been confirmed and the social sentiment is heating up fast. The community is buzzing with optimism and many traders and analysts believing that this could be the start of a serious price surge for Cardano ADA. But is this really what we've been waiting for or should we be cautious? In today's video we're diving into what this breakout means, the technical signs backing it and whether we can really see ADA's price doubling in the near future. So if you're an ADA holder or keeping your eye on the market you want to stick around till the very end let's go so big news for cardano ada a bullish breakout has been confirmed with analysts projecting a potential doubling of cardano ada's price the breakout comes as technical patterns align with growing market momentum suggesting that ada might be entering a strong upward trend with that sentiment is bullish but cautious. Many are waiting to see if Cardano ADA can sustain this momentum. So what's your take Cardano fam? Will ADA break through or is there more resistance ahead? Let's discuss that in the comments down below. But look, my thoughts and opinions are that, you know, we should still be expecting some volatility. I think we might have a bit of a bounce before a little bit more of a decline. But again, I've, as I've been saying in many of these videos, I think this is healthy. Next up in the headlines, Charles Hoskins. Hoskinson, the founder of Cardano, has suggested that Ripple's legal case with the SEC could lead to the creation of a new legal framework, possibly replacing the outdated Howey test. This could reshape Cardano and crypto regulation, influencing not just Ripple, but the broader crypto space. Sentiment around Cardano is cautiously optimistic, especially with regulatory clarity, strengthening Ada's position. And I think this is really interesting. I mean, my thoughts and opinions on this is, it, Charles is right, it has huge implications on the broader crypto market, including Cardano. And one thing that I mentioned in a previous video was, actually, I think Cardano ADA is future-proof, right? It's very decentralized. And once regulations are there, I actually think it will strengthen Cardano. But what do you think about the potential for the Ripple case to impact Cardano and the crypto industry? Could it lead to greater adoption and regulatory clarity? Share your thoughts in the comments below. So everyone knows I've been critical when it comes to Charles Hoskinson and you know him, I guess, aiding the tribalism with you know, picking fights and, and all that sort of stuff. And I have been calling for positivity. And you know me, I'll say shit how I see it. And uh, look, you know, I've got to applaud Charles because this is, uh, you know, a breath of fresh air, in my opinion, to see uh, Charles, you know, talking positively about, you know, other layer ones in the blockchain space. But, you know, you can let me know your thoughts. Let's dig into it. Charles Hoskinson recently praised SUI blockchain, its innovative design, highlighting its potential to revolutionize decentralized applications. While the focus is still on Cardano and you know, that continues, Hoskinson's knowledge of other technologies like SUI shows that the ecosystem is open to innovation and collaboration. And look, the sentiment around Cardano remains neutral, with many hoping uh, this, you know, could uh, be a prospect, you know, for, you know, I guess, further developments and partnerships, and maybe SUI and Cardano can you know, become interoperable or something like that. So I think there's there's a lot of positivity uh, to, to come off of it, statements like this. And, you know, I, I am always critical when I think I need to be critical, uh, and I'm always going to call things out as, as I see them. But I think that this is, you know, something that I've been asking for, right? What do you think? Uh, Cardano should take note of SUI's design? Is there anything that Cardano can take from SUI? You know, what what could, you know, what is it that SUI's doing 
that could strengthen Cardano as an ecosystem. Really interested to get your views and opinions, so do let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, really interested. So let's get back on track and more on Cardano and the ecosystem and what's actually going on, because there's a lot going on. Uh, the recent upgrade to Cardano's Mithril network has sparked excitement in the community, driving ADA's price up by a whopping 5%. This facelift improves the network scalability and security, making significant steps forward for DC decentralized applications. As a key milestone for Cardano, this upgrade could further solidify its position in the competitive blockchain space. Do you think that this upgrade will help ADA maintain its upward momentum? Like, really interested to get your views and opinions, so do drop those in the comments below. How do you see Mithril enhancing the Cardano ecosystem in the months ahead? For me, I think, you know, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, a lot of people were like, oh, you know, utility and um, technology, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's all about, you know, the the, the price and, you know, moving uh, people to, to the ecosystem. But what a lot of people don't understand is you need to have that that ecosystem built and it needs to work and it needs to be intuitive and developers need to want to build on the ecosystem so the tech does matter and uh you know anybody that you know says that it doesn't don't understand blockchain technology so we've got this article here and i've got a lot to say on it i'll give you my views and opinions as always but look cardano's recent constitutional uh, workshop focused on building decentralized governance one of my favorite subjects aiming to redefine its structure and increase community involvement key discussions revolve around creating a self-sustained and decentralized system reinforcing Cardano's long-term vision of true decentralization. With this development, ADA holders could see the governance power shift further into their hands, potentially driving Cardano's evolution forward. So is this the big next step towards full decentralization? Um, what are your thoughts on governance? Do you share common uh, concerns that I do around the fact that most of the people that are going to make the crucial decisions for Cardano, Ada moving forward, uh, you, I, and many others are perhaps not positioned well enough with, I guess, experience to make these decisions, right? Like, let's be honest, right? The, the current world of crypto is degen somewhere over here. Um, some, you know, developers, very small pool over here. And then people that know nothing about the technology um, and they're just following, you know, BitBoy, Crypto Banter, uh, and various other, you know, people on, on YouTube, right, that are just following their lead and just going into whatever these guys are paid to, to shill. So, you know, are they really positioned well enough to make big decisions? Are they even going to participate? So, look, I have lots of concerns. I always get concerned around governance, meaning that the founders are just going to go and, you know, focus on something else. They've made their money. They're off ski. Um, you know, although what comes out of people's mouths Normally, when you suggest that this is what you're, you're feeling, is that that isn't going to happen. You know, it tends to happen, even though that what they're saying is it's not going to happen. So look, I'm just mindful of all this sort of stuff. But let me know your thoughts, your opinions. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to be traveling to Vietnam, uh, Da Nang, uh, over the next few days. So uh, you've got, got some pre-recorded videos, some really cool ones, uh, particularly looking at uh, what my price prediction is for Cardano ADA based purely on fundamentals, right? Not technical analysis, pure fundamentals, where I kind of feel that it sits within the market and where I think the price can go purely on fundamentals. So that'd be interesting for people, something a bit different, something that we haven't done before. Um, and yeah, I think it'd be good for people to get an understanding of where I see Cardano Ada's price going in this bull market. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in tomorrow's. Take care.